Hello there, my name's Jack Regan. Um, you won't know me because I'm fairly new to this diocese and I'm fairly new to this job. I've just taken over as the Director of Youth Services. I'm based here at Castle Rig Manor. And that means that next time we go to Lourdes, I'll be going as part of the pilgrimage looking after the youth section. And that's something I'm really excited about. I'm looking forward to going to Lourdes next year. Um, I'm gutted we can't be there this year, but the world kind of went a bit crazy this year, didn't it? Uh, lots of things have been cancelled, lots of things have been messed around. I know in my life a lot of things have been disrupted. Um, I try to count my blessings though because there's still a lot of good things in my life and a lot of people have suffered a heck of a lot more than I have. But hopefully fairly soon the world will get back to normal and we can be back in Lourdes this time next year. I've never been to Lourdes with Lancaster Diocese but I've been a bunch of times. I've been with HCPT, I've been with the parish, I've been with a couple of different diocesan trips. Um, I've done a load of other stuff as well. Um, one of my best memories was about 12 years ago when I was there with something called the International Military Pilgrimage. We were staying in the same hotel as some of the Swiss guards who got the Pope in the Vatican, which was really interesting. Although actually they weren't that friendly, but it was still quite nice being in the hotel with them. One thing I love about Lourdes, well actually there's a bunch of things I love about Lourdes. I love the shopping, I love the social side of it, I love the grotto, um, I love the town, I, I love it all, it's brilliant. But one thing in particular that I like about Lourdes is that in Lourdes, everybody matters. Every single person matters. You probably know the story of Lourdes. There was a young peasant girl named Bernadette. Our Lady appeared to her 18 different times, said a bunch of really cool stuff. Bernadette, after that, she became a nun. Then when she died, she became a saint. During the rest of her life, Bernadette talked a lot about her experience with Our Lady. And one of the main things that she said that really struck me she was talking about Our Lady, she was talking about the apparitions, and she said she looked at me as if I was somebody. She looked at me, Our Lady, looked at Bernadette as if she was somebody who mattered. And to Bernadette, that meant the world. If you know the story, you'll know that Bernadette's family were very, very poor. They didn't have a lot going for them. Uh, Bernadette's dad was in trouble with the law, wrongly, we think. Um, but, you know, things didn't go well for her. She wasn't a person that had status in society. Nobody would have looked up to her. To those of you that know your French, um, in French, there's two ways of talking to people. If someone's your mate or if someone's a little kid, you call them two. Um, if someone's a senior to you, like a child talking to an adult, or if you talk to your boss, you'd say vous, okay? Um, if you've done any French in school, you probably remember that. But Bernadette, in her whole life, she would never have been vous up to that point. But that's what Our Lady called her. She, was, she spoke to her with respect. She looked at her as if she was somebody who mattered. That's what I love about Lourdes. In Lourdes, every single person matters. Every single person means the world to everybody else who's out there. Now, when I say that, you're probably thinking immediately in terms of the sick and disabled people that go to Lourdes. And those people are fantastic. Those people are really the heart and the soul of Lourdes. But actually, I'm a youth worker, so when I think about everybody mattering, immediately what I think about is I think about young people. If you are uh, a child or a teenager or a young adult, um, life can be great, but life can be a little bit difficult. The world often doesn't think of you. And especially during difficult times like these, you can get forgotten a little bit more than most people. When people are growing up these days, oftentimes they just don't have a good sense of who they are. I've worked with a ton of young people over the years who've ended up making some really, really drastic, really, really damaging life choices. And I always think that part of the reason they do that is because they don't know who they are. No one took the time to tell them that they were loved, that they mattered, that they were somebody or if they did, for one reason or another, it didn't get through. And I think that's the first thing that we all need. We all need to know that we matter, that we're somebody. We all need that sense that Our Lady gave to Bernadette. And that's what we get from God. Actually, in our faith, in the Bible, in the teaching of the church, there's a whole bunch of things that we're taught. But the first one of those, and the most important one is, you matter, you are loved, you are somebody. If you don't understand that bit right at the start, then actually you'll never get this whole religion thing, this whole faith thing, because that's the building block that it's all got to be piled on top of. My favourite verse in the Bible is this. It's from the first letter of John, 1 John chapter 3, verse 1. It says this, it says, Think of the love the Father has lavished on us by letting us be called the children of God, for that is what we are. Think of the love the Father has lavished on us by letting us be called the children of God, 
for that is what we are. That is what Lourdes does when it's working properly. It lets us know that we are loved, that we are God's children. And actually, if you know that in your life, then it's amazing. You can do so much with that. The youth section next year, um, I hope you guys come along. I've got to be honest, I've never been with a diocese before. I've got a lot of questions about how it's going to work. I really have. But I've spoken to enough people to know that it's a great product. It's a great experience. <coughs> Whenever I run anything for young people, I always hope firstly that they have fun. I hope that they enjoy themselves because God wants that to happen. God wants you laughing. He wants you having fun. I always hope as well that people make friends. Lewis is a great chance to do that. People make lifelong friends on pilgrimages. I actually met my wife on a pilgrimage, not Lewis, somewhere else, but that can happen. You meet people who you're bonded to for a very long time. The other thing that I always really hope happens in Lewis is that people have a chance to explore their faith. And what can happen in Lewis is people that are kind of from a Christian background go along to someone like Lewis, so at the end of it, they end up saying, oh, you know what? This whole Jesus thing, this whole faith thing, maybe there's something in it. Maybe there's something in it I want to explore a little bit deeper. But whatever happens, nobody in my experience comes back from Lourdes and says, that was rubbish, I should never have gone. So sign up for 2021. It's going to be absolutely fantastic. Um, I'm going to be there. Some of the team at Tesla Rig are going to be there. It's going to be a really, really good experience, a chance to get to know each other, a chance to find out a bit more about who we are and a bit more about why we matter, why we're somebody. If you want to know more about Castle Rig, about the youth service, you can follow us on social media. We are at Castle Rig Manor. That's on Facebook, it's on Twitter, it's on Instagram, probably a few other things that I don't understand as well. Um, and if you want to come up to Castle Rig this year, you can meet us and uh, we'll tell you a little bit more about Lourdes and about the other stuff that's going on. Hopefully when all this craziness is over, I'll get to meet some of you face to face. Until then, God bless. Have a good virtual pilgrimage and maybe I'll see you in Lourdes in 2021.